Bernadette Barba here. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and I just joined EXP Real Estate a week ago yesterday. And I've been a realtor since 2005, an agent, a relentless agent. And really, um, I like to call myself a lone wolf. I do have a transaction coordinator and I have a buyer's agent who helps, but for the most part, I am in the trenches and working closely with my families. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why I made the switch to EXP and hoping that you glean some information here that would at least trigger a light bulb. Because guess what? It's been a fun 16 years. And what I've learned for sure is that I never saw an exit strategy. I never realized that there is a plan to potentially step out of production and create another lane of wealth just by attracting people in our industry that want more time with their families, that want to put their phone away and know that everything's gonna be okay, no one's gonna die, and you don't have to be involved in every single email um, every single phone call, every single text message. And I just remember always this. In fact, on my honeymoon, I got a call from a friend and client that said, today's the day I wanna go into that model home and I wanna buy. And I remember feeling like I was getting an ulcer it is the only, only thing I can think about. And it wasn't a, a pleasant experience. It's something that I'll never forget. My husband will never forget. And I didn't know how to say no. I'm learning how to say no. I'm stepping into a place of power and confidence, knowing that I'm backed by not only realtors, professionals here, but all over the country, we are a virtual brokerage that has so much technology. I mean, technology on steroids. And I'm so glad I went um, to an event here in Scottsdale. I was invited by um, a mentor coach out of Bozeman. And he's in Bozeman, Montana, running a mortgage company, title company. He's running a real estate brokerage in Charlotte. He's in Bozeman. Um, being able to have that leverage, that excites me. Being able to talk about my journey in hopes that it attracts someone who's missing time with family, someone who is leaving their family to serve another family. Because guess what? It's hard. And as soon as that commission check is deposited, you got to go out and get that next one. And it's a constant marathon. And if you're anything like me, you're super competitive. And it's not just being competitive with the people in your marketplace. You're competitive with yourself. Uh, for a long time, I couldn't um, get past the $10 million mark. That was my number. I need to get to $10 million. I'd seen so many other realtors being able to achieve that. And then guess what? As soon as I opened up the floodgates and I got out of my way, I went to 14 million. And guess what? As you start to raise the bar, what you do is you start peeling more time away from yourself, the things you love to do, uh, the people you wanna spend time with. Do you really want to run 60 to 80 transactions? Do you? not your team, but do you want to run that? And if you do, I'm going to challenge you to have a conversation with me because I am learning step by step just by being surrounded by top producers all over the country, the likes of uh, Jay Kinder, the likes of Brent Grove, who is, who are rather, they're working on such a high level and they're sharing, they're sharing their stories. I was in a room 
with uh, Jay and Brent and so many other amazing individuals, again, not only in the state of Arizona, but all over the country that are sharing their wins. And they are not only sharing, but they're giving you a blueprint to do it a better way. And I'm just, I, I, I'm just excited. I'm here to share that whether you are at the Keller Williams, you are at Coldwell Bankers, um, Remaxes, understand that while those are all great brokerages, what is the compensation plan for attracting agents? Is that a Starbucks card? Is that a pat on the back? Maybe a nice email from uh, the manager at the office saying, thank you, we see them doing great things and Who's benefiting from that attraction? Not you. And so what I'm learning is that attracting, recruiting, it's not a bad word. We do that all the time in the place where we're at now. We bring on friends, we bring on other colleagues to the brokerages that we're at because we believe in being united, being together. And to understand that we're here in the technology space. We're here in network marketing space. We do it all the time. And so being able to benefit from that and also teaching other agents ways to do business, not only in their own marketplace, but to expand to other parts of the country. We're now in Spain. We're in London, Australia, Canada. If you have connection to those places, there is a way to attract other agents. I, I just, I'm overwhelmed with so many feelings of gratitude and I'm so happy that I trusted myself to make that move. And I'm gonna share, first and foremost, building platforms that will allow for me to connect right away with anyone who's interested in listening to the opportunity. I'm also going to expand to the Latina community, Latino community, the Hispanic community, because there is enough to go around. And that's what I learned, there is enough. And so if you have a story in your mind right now that's telling you it's comfortable, it's too late, um, I don't want to start all over. Know that the technology piece will allow you to go on board and not miss a beat. I promise you that. 16 years in the business, I'm still here. My families are still going to do business with me no matter where I'm at. And I know that now. If you are operating from a place of scarcity, I want to talk to you. I love to teach, mentor, encourage. And I hope that this message resonates with you because I want to take a vacation and truly know that I can put my phone away, keep my laptop home, and that everything is going to run smoothly because I have eXp technology on steroids backing me up. I will leave you with this and Click here and let's chat. Know that the stories in your mind can cripple you or serve you. And I want you to really reflect on the stories you're telling yourself that are keeping you in a space of maybe um, complacency. If you're ready for a change, I want to help you. I got you. I promise. Bye.